What's up, New Beginnings Church? Happy Wednesday morning to you and welcome to our devotional series. Um, again, got some encouraging words for you this morning. It is definitely connected to what we just talked about on Monday and Tuesday. So if you haven't listened to those, go catch up. This is all connected. This is really a little mini series, a little five part series called Five Ingredients to Faith, all found in John chapter 14. It says this Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. We talked about this that peace always begins with a person. And that person is Jesus. It's not about the absence of conflict. It's about the presence of a person. Then he says, In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you that I go and prepare a place for you. So the the second ingredient to peace is knowing that you have a place. Um, I think it'd be incredibly unsettling to think I'm homeless and I have nowhere to go. I'm not sure where I'm going to lay my head down tonight. And Jesus is promising these disciples, Hey, life will be turbulent but never forget that you have a place in the Father's kingdom, even inside the Father's home. But the third ingredient is right here, and he goes, And if I go and prepare a place for you, watch this, I will come again and will take you to myself. I will come again. Uh, The first ingredient is the person of Christ. The second ingredient is the place. But the third ingredient to peace is the promise. And it's the promise that he makes to say, hey guys, I'm leaving. The Holy Spirit's coming. You're going to grace or or face incredible difficulty at times. But know this, I am coming back again. What an incredible promise. Um, You know, I have three kids and uh, especially when my kids were younger, I remember experiencing this. So like every year I would go on like a golf trip with my buddies and I'd, you know, go out and play golf for a week in Las Vegas or something, something like that. And I remember, uh, you know, particularly uh, my kids being like, no, daddy, don't go. No, daddy, don't go. And I'm like, no, I'm going. I need to go. I need to golf, you know. And uh, But I would always do this right here with my kids. I would always make them a promise. And I would say, hey, you don't worry about one thing. I'm only going to be gone for a little while. I promise I'll be back soon. I'm only gone for a little while. I promise I'm going to be back soon. And then, you know, of course, even while I was gone, if they were like, oh, I miss daddy, I miss daddy, maybe at tuck-ins or something like that, my wife would always be like, hey, I promise it's only one more day. It's only two more days. It's only three more days. Whatever it was, I promise daddy's coming home. And so I think this is so true of us too, um, is that again, it's the person of Christ. It's the reminder that we all have a place, but it's putting rest in the promise that Jesus will return. Now, look, I don't even want to begin to get into um, eschatology and the study of the end times, and I don't even want to touch that. Um, uh, I'm, I'm a... Um, I'm one of those guys that just thinks uh, it's. I'm a pan millennialist. Like uh, there's there's pre and post and all this. I, I just think it'll all pan out in the end. That's that's uh, that's what I am. I'm a pan millennialist. But um, I, I really do. I, I, whatever the, your beliefs are on the end of the world, the end of times, or any of that thing, it's all good because no one really knows. It's fun to talk. It's fun to speculate. It's fun to have great conversations. But the one thing that we know is true. This is the one thing we all agree upon. Whether there's pre and post and mid and things and all, who knows. Jesus is returning again. I don't know when and I don't know how, but I put faith in that. Like I put trust in that. I can every once in a while when my heart is troubled, I can take a deep breath. Remember the person of Jesus. Remember my future place and home. And even remember that there is a promise that Jesus will return again. And maybe, just maybe, that will even happen in my lifetime. I just want you to know that you can put your faith in the promises of God and the promise that Jesus will return again. Church, I love you. Let me pray for you. Um, God, I pray that God, our hearts would not be troubled today. God, there's every reason in the world, maybe every reason in our circumstance to be troubled right now. But God, we're not trying to just avoid trouble. We're trying to connect to your presence and to your promises, Lord. Help us today, we pray in Jesus' name. I love you, church. I'll see you tomorrow.